Hi, I'm Melissa from Welcome to the Woods, and this is my series, This or That DIY, where we compare two products or projects that are DIY related in our video to figure out which one is better. Today I'm gonna to talk about the difference between glue down luxury vinyl plank or vinyl tile, they're one and the same, and click together floating luxury vinyl plank. So I'm going to, for the sake of this video, use the acronym LVP. From now on, I'll be referring to luxury vinyl plank flooring as LVP. Now I am not a flooring expert. I am just an avid DIYer and we have renovated two houses. I have installed floating LVP myself before. When we did glue down LVP, we did hire it out but I've learned quite a lot about flooring in the process. So the main difference between these two is the installation. Now the floating has a click together mechanism, which you know you install it at an angle and it's supposed to click together so, so tightly that the seams nearly disappear and water can't get between, thereby making the floor completely waterproof. Glue down flooring is installed using an adhesive that's usually laid down with a trowel and then it um, you allow it to get sticky for a few minutes before you place down the LVP and you roll over it with like a 300 pound steel roller. There's no doubt that the glue down LVP process is more difficult and takes more materials and tools because you need the roller, you need a trowel, you need the adhesive, and then you can need other things as well that, that the floating floor, the click together floor doesn't require. If you're watching this video, you have probably already looked at your flooring options and are going with LVP because of its durability in terms of cost. Maybe you're going with it because you want something that's 100% waterproof. I'd like to get to that now, and we talk about the seams on these two different types of flooring, having to do with how waterproof they are. Now, I would choose LVP flooring for a kitchen or bathroom because it is one of the most waterproof flooring on the market, but it is not foolproof. So the seams can get water damage and water can seep into the seams if the click together mechanism fails. Now this can fail for a variety of reasons over time. The seams on the click together mechanism can kind of start to come apart from age, a buildup of dirt, sunlight causing the LVP to expand and then contract from heat um, fluctuation and then home settling, which happens as your house ages, the foundation settles and it slightly shifts how level your floor is. And that can cause the seams also to slightly come apart on your floating floor. Now here, I want to make the point that investing in a thicker floor, um, a thicker LVP, or even just one that has addressed this concern and has a higher quality and higher reviews, it's gonna be more expensive but it, the longevity of that type of floor is going to be significantly different because every floating floor that I've installed has been $3 a square foot or less and it the seams have started to come apart even within a year. So I wanna show you this clip of the floating floor we just installed in our bathroom remodel um, about a year and a half ago. And you can see that the seams are, are coming apart ever so slightly. And this floor had a brand new subfloor that was leveled, put down before we put the floating floor on it. Plus it's in a very small space. So any settling that would cause these cracks is very minimal. Now the seams of a glue down floor I wanna talk about because we chose a glue down LVP for the entire main level of our new home that we renovated basically from top to bottom. Now the glue down LVP, it doesn't, each plank doesn't connect to each other. They just line up next to each other. And the seams line up perfectly theoretically as long as your floor is 
basically level. Now, we chose a glue down floor because our flooring wasn't level. Our subfloor on our 130 year old farmhouse wasn't level no matter what we did. We did lay a new subfloor, we poured self leveling compound, and we really did the best we could, but no matter what, there's going to be um, unevenness. And so for that reason, we just did not think that a floating click together floor would be durable in the long run and we chose the glue down. Because we have some unevenness, it was impossible for the installer to get the seams exactly butting up to each other in every single spot. There are areas where there is a small um, gap between the seam and that's gonna be inevitable with a large area like that. I do think that a glue down plank in just one room, like a bedroom or a bathroom, you might not have that issue at all. And when your seams butt up perfectly next to each other, the flooring is indeed 100% waterproof. So we've talked about how to install. We've talked about floor levelness and why we chose a glue down floor because we couldn't get the subfloor perfectly level. We talked about the seams, the difference between the two different seams and what that means in terms of being waterproof. Now, the last thing I wanna to touch on is repair. A big reason that we chose to co cover the entire main level of our home, it's more than a thousand square feet, in glue down LVP is because if we damage one of the planks, it is so much easier to cut up that individual plank, pop it out and glue down another one that's better in its place. Now, both LVP types are extremely durable. And again, if you're going with a high quality LVP product, the wear layer is going to be very thick and you're not gonna have issues with scratches and denting the way you might with a different type of flooring. I have been really happy with the three different types of LVP we've owned in our homes. We have a home decorators collection from Home Depot, um, in our bathroom, we have a glue down LVP from ZNetFlooring.com and our main level. And we had, um, we had a basically bottom of the line, um, Tarquette flooring LVP that was clicked together that I installed in our old house's kitchen from Menards. They've all been very, very durable. However, no matter what, there are going to be times in life when, you know, things go wrong and I wanted a floor that I could repair for the next 20 years without having to replace or lay new. In order to repair a floating floor, it's much more difficult because the whole thing connects together. So if you have big dogs that have claws or you have young children like me that you anticipate ruining parts of your floor, then consider that when you choose a floating LVP for your home. I wanted a glue down LVP so that I could repair my floor myself. There you have it. That's just my opinion, but I hope that you have learned something from my experiences I shared in this video. And if you want to let me know down below which one you're leaning towards or which one you have installed in your home, a glue down or a floating LVP, I'd be curious to know. I'm not sure which one's more popular right now, but I anticipate floating LVP being the most common choice. Let me know below in the comments what you think. Thank you for joining me for another This or That DIY with Welcome to the Woods. We'll catch you next time.